Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video I'll be discussing my top 5 welding safety tips. I see far too many people cutting corners jeopardizing their own well-being which can cause some serious problems in the end. If you have a welding safety tip please be sure to share it in the comments below to help out fellow viewers too. Tip number one, probably the most common, while it may seem like a given, it's not worth overlooking, a proper welding shield. I belong to various metalworking groups online and this is a very common practice in some third world countries where unfortunately they do not have the money or availability to purchase proper welding helmets and instead they use sunglasses. Regardless if you're TIG, ARC or MIG welding, there's an extremely intense light which emits ultraviolet light, radiation and infrared radiation which can damage your sight. If you experience an arc flash, also known as welding flash or arc eye, this can be from an extreme short exposure to a welding arc from various angles. The feeling normally involves the discomfort associated with your eyes such as pain, eye reddening, sensitivity to light, dryness, inability to look at light, and even temporary blindness. Beyond protecting your eyes, the helmet also protects your skin from welding burn. This can be from the UV light or even just welding splatter. UV light from welding can cause something similar to sunburn and if exposure persists can eventually result in skin cancer. Tip number two. While we have established exposure to UV light from welding can cause something similar to sunburn, it's also important to wear a coat. Welding coats are available or you could use a heavier shop coat. If you are wearing a short sleeve shirt such as me, this will help protect your arms and even your exposed neck. If splattering occurs during welding, the coat does provide some form of protection for your skin and even clothing. Welding coats are made of a leather, so they tend to be much more durable and provide a heavier barrier to heat and sparks than compared to a shop coat. The coat should be able to cover your wrists, not have loose fitting cuffs where a spark may enter, and a high collar for neck protection. Tip number three. While still covering the topic of wearable clothing, high quality welding gloves are a must as they are the closest to your welding source. They are made from a leather. There's a variety of sources ranging from cow, goats, deer, horse, pig, and elk. Each have their own pros and cons. However, I won't get into that for this video. The leather is durable, provides great protection against heat, pliable, and repels sparks. Tip number four. Depending on what you're welding, fumes can also build up and have negative effects on your health. This can be especially hazardous when welding materials such as stainless steel, galvanized metals, or aluminum. Stainless steel, for example, has a high concentration of chromium and nickel that can cause cancer. Even argon used as a gas shielding in MIG or TIG welding can cause shortness of breath. Work in a well ventilated area. I am obviously working outdoors. If you are working indoors, use a ventilation system to pull away the fumes. And for either situation, use a respirator. Respirators have different filter ratings, so be sure to pick the correct filter required for the job. And finally, last but not least, tip number five. Inspect your equipment before usage. Ensure there is no damage to your welding machine, cables, gloves, jacket, welding shield, etc. Any faults with your equipment can risk your health and well-being, and even those that are working with you. Take the corrective actions as necessary when finding a fault, which can be as simple as replacing your welding gloves or something more complicated as replacing a welder's cable. As for some unofficial bonus tips, wear long pants, preferably jeans as they are more durable, proper shoes or boots, welding boot covers, and a welding hat to protect your head from sparks jumping. This concludes the rest of my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thanks for watching.